Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this session, I'll be covering how you can create cascade drop downs in Power Canvas app. So, to start with, I'll go to Power Apps. I'll create a blank Power App and name it as, a, let's say, Cascade Demo. Okay, so as you know for building out any cascade drop down, so we would need two drop downs. So I'll start uh, creating or adding input controls via going insert section. Uh, I'll drop one drop down and I'll drop the second one too. So in this uh, cascaded drop down demo I'll be using data source as SharePoint list and as you can see uh, we have sales uh, list which is having region titles and uh, the sales manager assigned to that, that region. So I'll just go back to my demo and we'll add up one label so that we can see what label what drop down is what. So this one is sales region and we'll drop another label. So this one is sales manager. Alright, so now the next step we need to bind it with one data source. So with Power Canvas app, you can have multiple data sources. You can bind it with the Excel. You can bind that with a CDS or any uh, database. For demo, I'll be binding it to a SharePoint list, which I just showcased that you. I'll just go to view. You can see I, I'm clicking on data source. Then in search, I'll share, search for SharePoint and add SharePoint. I'm choosing my SharePoint site. It started showing all the lists which are available. So I'll just scroll down and go to my sales list and connect it. So my data source is now available within my Power Canvas app. Now I'm selecting the first drop down which is sales region and I'll in the in the properties on the right hand side I'll bind it to sales list. So if you see once I bind it, it started taking the values over here because I did not set uh, which field I would like to extract so it's not showing it so let me change that to title so it has started showing me title but these are duplicate titles which I am getting because my list is having uh, multiple sales region and multiple sales manager assigned to it so I'll go back to my canvas app and I'll select my drop down and what I'll change under the items I'll change the formula and as I said I need distinct titles from sales list I'll choose type the column name which I would like to extract so now I'll start having or getting the distinct regions now you can see I'm getting distinct region so in my SharePoint list, I have added one blank row as well. And with, why? Because I would need that blank item uh, whenever nothing is selected that should be shown up. But before that, I need to sort it out so that the blank thing can come up. So I am just using sort function, sorting by distinct sales list, title and results. So when I say results, it started taking the sorted value so now you can see in my drop down one sales region now I'm getting sorted values for it now the second part comes so this is my sales manager list again I have to bind this list to my uh, sales list and for that binding I'll just directly start typing into my items formula which should be filter my sales list where title equal to my selected value in drop down one 
um, I'm, I'm selected selecting selected text dot value which will give me value and compare that value with existing title so now I am uh, running it so in sales region I'm getting my sales list and when I select any of region it should show the data related to my sales manager and why it's not showing because I am not extracting the uh, column name uh, for it so let me just go back to my sales manager list and in filtering what I would like to bind find this value to you can see in the right hand side there is value section so I'll choose the column as sales manager so if I run that back and let's say select a different region now it has started showing me sales manager associated with that sales region so if I change it it keep on changing if I am selecting uh, selecting nothing then it's uh, changed to uh, selected as nothing for sales manager but uh, what I would need is if a person is selecting nothing then this field should be disabled so we should not be allowing uh, users to select anything from sales manager until unless sales region is selected so how we can achieve that we can just select uh, sales manager and in the right hand side uh, right hand side top I'll go to display mode so there is a property display mode which uh, by default is added because we are allowing to person to add update the fields over here but right now I'll change it to display mode uh, as disabled so you can see now my field got disabled but I would like to get this field disabled only if if my selected drop down uh, drop down one dot selected text dot value equal equal to equal to blank then my this field so I believe like it's not taking that uh, double quotes uh, so I would need to change the value in my sales list so I'm going back to my sales uh, that that specific blank item and I can change that to let's say dot dot so if I just click on save and go to my power app and refresh my data source so that the data value can be refreshed I can just uh, choose the dot, uh, dot dot instead of double quotes because it's uh, having difficult time comparing that so it's fine so we can keep uh, dot dot instead of it so now you can see I'm just going to run it so let's say for the nothing is selected the value in the sales manager would would be disabled and if I select something it gets enabled so that's how uh, you can create a simple uh, basic cascaded drop down and you can um, actually like uh, inherit or make it available at the multi level as well you can create uh, a three level or four level cascaded drop down uh, as per your requirement so it's a pretty standard scenario where in a complex form these are fields where uh, we want uh, something to be uh, selected based on some different drop down so it's a uh, could be very useful like going forward when you are building complex applications so if you if you're looking for any further details uh, feel free to drop me comments and also subscribe to the channel thank you